He was preoccupied with the belief that he needed to go and see singer Nelly Putado to cure her in Montreal. He sold a chair to fund for a flight. His parents were concerned that he was refusing to eat and would only drink water. During an outreach visit, he swore angrily towards mom and actual team members and kicked towards them. Uh, he was brought to BGH. During his stay at BGH, he was transferred to Willow 4, which is a tertiary unit for a longer inpatient stay. He stayed there from September 17 to May 18. When he was discharged from Willow, there was an administrative error, which meant he was not on extended leave. Uh, this led to him being sectioned uh, slash certified later. On September 22nd, he was sectioned by the police in the community. Uh, his mother reported that he'd been awake for the last three nights, not been taking his medications. Uh, he was throwing glass and sticks at passing cars on the street. He also carried a can of gasoline to the local Portuguese church with the intention of lighting it on fire. The ACT team members outreached him that day. Uh, he reported that he believed the local church was involved with a child sex ring and that the children were being raped in church. He reported attending the church over the last couple of days and throwing tarot cards at the church as he believed some of these sex acts were related to satanic or demonic voodoo. He mentioned that he brought a can of gasoline down there and indicated that he would cause a fire as he believed the devils or vampires were afraid of light. He reportedly jumped on a person's car and hurt his ankle. Uh, it was, there were other delusional beliefs where he spoke about the antenna of cars uh, surveilling him. Uh, he also had similar beliefs from the lampposts. Uh, in the next two paragraphs, Dr. Lazar summarizes that uh, there had been brief points when uh, he was voluntary in spring 2016 and stated a willingness to take oral meds, but unfortunately it didn't happen. He his med compliance was poor and he ended up decompensating, becoming aggressive and then needing to be recertified and started on depot medication. He mentions that during his widow for tertiary stint was when he was started on oral medication. Uh, and uh, following his discharge from widow, I think his med compliance deteriorated, which then led him being certified.
Thank you, Dr. Natarajan. Can we ask you questions now? Please go ahead. Dr. Wong, question for Dr. Nadaradan. Thank you, Dr. Nadaradan. Uh, uh, was there any unusual incident since his discharge in July? No unusual incidents. Uh, I've just seen him once, so I know uh, there was clear evidence of psychosis, but by unusual incidents, if you mean any incidents of concern or yeah. any. Uh, yeah. It wasn't brought to my notice, but I'm going to stop when the Caroline with me, uh, who I don't think has a different opinion. No, I agree with Dr. Natarajan. Yeah, thank you, Caroline. Uh, in the last two months, uh, three months, has he been complying with uh, medication? So he's on daily witness injections, uh, which means we go and outreach him every single day. Uh, and I think that's made the biggest... Uh, contribution towards his improved med compliance. But I think it's uh, it's important to note that feedback that I've got from other team members is that during the DWI, daily witness, uh, there's always been a consistent uh, uh, message from him that he doesn't need his meds and that we are giving him meds when he does not have meds. So uh, the team goes out to his uh, uh, residence to give him the oral medication? Correct. Yes, every single day. Even on, uh, on the weekend? Yeah. 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 Uh, do you know, uh, 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 continue with uh, using marijuana and other stricter? I will, uh, if you don't mind, can I ask Caroline to answer that? Sure, yeah. Thanks, yeah, Caroline. Um, I'm under the impression that he continues marijuana, but not other street drugs. Yeah. Uh, that, that's good. Thank you very much, both Dr. Natarajan and Caroline. That's all my questions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Lepard, questions for the doctor. Yes, thank you. I just have a couple of questions, doctor. Uh, it's a little hard to hear some of the evidence. Um, I think that I heard you say that you believe that Mr. Jukic will stop taking his medication if he has made a voluntary patient. Did I hear that right? Yes, you did. And if he discontinues his medication, how quickly will he deteriorate to the point he's a danger to himself or others? I think it's difficult to accurately predict, but going by past reports, Dr. Lazar has mentioned two incidents where he missed his medication for three days, 